Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming, and thanks for the opportunity to present uh, Cardiac Ear. So, um, Cardiac Ear is uh, the world's first wearable that actually delivers treatment therapy. I'll say it again, delivers treatment to treat patients with cardiac arrhythmias. So, we're, we're deploying non-invasive neuromodulation to the wrist. We're targeting the vagus nerve, and we're reducing atrial fibrillation burden and incidence. So atrial fibrillation is the most common cardiac arrhythmia. It's a progressive disorder um, affecting more than 30 million people around the world. And it increases the risk of stroke and heart failure and overall death. The economic burden on the healthcare system is enormous. And existing therapies, although quite advanced, still are lacking uh, efficacy. So the, the patients themselves suffer from debilitating symptoms like palpitations, chest pain, anxiety. Um, and the limitations of current therapy, which involve both drug therapy and therapeutics, are high. So drugs, the antiarrhythmic drugs, they work initially, and then they um, stop working. You need to change drugs, ch uh, increase dosages, and they're not side effect free. Uh, procedures like cardioversion and uh, even ablation have high, high failure rates. Cardioversion just brings patients back to, to normal rhythm but the uh, uh, event recurrence rates are very high, up to 80% at one year. Ablation, which is the gold standard treatment these days, is very successful in the first year, let's say 80 to 90% success rates, but the five-year success rates of ablations are low, so almost 50% failure. So clearly, this is a huge unmet need, and this is where cardiac care comes in. So cardiac care is, a, is gonna be a physician-prescribed device. It's um, positioned to treat patients as adjuvant therapy to, cur to cur current standard of care because of such, such an unmet uh, clinical need. So imagine a wearable that can be used at home for both monitoring patients and treating patients in order to reduce symptoms, hospitalizations, uh, procedure costs, and improve patient quality of life. So that's exactly what we uh, um, developed in cardiac care. Uh, what you're seeing on my wrist is what you're seeing up there. Um, this is the first, the world's first non-invasive nerve stimulation device that actually treats patients non-invasively with a complete uh, closed-loop system for both monitoring and treating these patients and optimizing and personalizing care in the future also. And it, count, it stems from more than 15 years of clinical practice and know-how uh, from the real world. So this is not something that came out of some um, idea of an engineer. We saw this working on patients and we said, okay, let's see if we can actually uh, validate this and monetize this. So um, a little bit of a short description on the mechanism of action. Um, the vagal nerve stimulation has been shown the ability to reduce oversympathetic drive, which is one of the major triggers of atrial fibrillation episodes. This has been shown in multiple sites around the body. Renal denervation was making a new comeback. Um, also ear stimulation. Cardiac care is actually targeting a, no a novel approach, which has been shown in the past in animal models to reduce AF burden and other arrhythmias as well. Uh, it has been shown invasively. We did that for the first time both in animal models and in human humans, as I'll show you in a minute, to show that median nerve stimulation actually targets the vagus axis or the stellate vagus axis and reduces AF burden and in in incidence. So we finished our, uh, our first in human clinical trial um, basically, we had patients come into the ER with symptomatic AF. Uh, they were screened with a 24-hour ECG for uh, atrial fibrillation. They were cardioverted, meaning they were brought back to normal rhythm, to sinus rhythm, and then got our device for eight weeks at home for both uh, monitoring and treating them um, themselves. So what we saw, again, this was a small first in human. Um, after years of, ob of clinical observation, we actually came uh, with this uh, study design. And again, very su successful. Not surprised to us, we're seeing reduction of almost 50% um, in AF recurrence at eight weeks. We're seeing acute reduction where patients are being the control, their own control in this case. We're seeing a reduction of uh, premature atrial beats, which are precursors of AF that trigger the AF bouts, which we're following. We're seeing almost 50% reduction in, in these instances, in these, and in both in acute and also in accumulative. You can see on the, uh, the right uh, bottom, the 24-hour ECG of one of these patients. So in terms of compliance, um, patients love the device. We had um, treatment compliance in terms of measurements and in terms of treatments of 90% uh, to 97%. So and safety was excellent, and in addition, um, in addition, um, 
compliance, as I said. We're at the novo path, 510k de novo path towards FDA. Um, we're targeting atrial fibrillation, uh, paroxysmal atrial fibrillation um, population, which is most of the patients, around a million new patients each year in the US alone. Again, AF is projected to be a world epidemic involving more than 70 million people around the world at 2050. Um, so uh, in terms of reimbursement, our initial analysis indicates that we can go for both device sales and a SAS model for monitoring uh, device sales under existing HICPIC codes of DME and also ongoing SAS models where the physician can actually bill under RTM's remote uh, uh, therapeutic or RPM remote patient monitoring codes up to $120 a month for looking at the data, especially with relation to therapy. <clears throat> Uh, we, have, uh, we have granted patents on the engineering aspects, we have granted patents on methods, and we have patent, pe uh, pending uh, PCTs on the algorithms and the machine learning and the AI that we're actually um, devising in order to uh, optimize care, personalize care from a distance. Uh, a very strong team com from both uh, commercial aspect, uh, engineering aspects, you can see the logos of, of our team, uh, world leaders, KOLs, uh, in their field, both from Europe, from uh, uh, the U.S., and from Israel. Um, I think behind this slide is about 12 exits uh, in the medical device uh, field, so we were really backed by a very strong team. Um, overall, we're raising $5 million. So far, we've raised $2.3 million, which got us quite far, as, as you can see on the device, and in terms of we completed our first in human clinical study. We're raising five uh, additional um, million dollars in order to um, move us to the next value infection points, which will include the results from our next CHAM controlled multi center um, study uh, on 60 patients. And we're going to do a 510K for the ECG quick and dirty this year. And in addition, uh, work additionally on design freeze towards the pivotal study and also more on the uh, closed loop algorithms. <clears throat> so we are Cardiacare, saving lives one heartbeat at a time. Thank you.